mate. What do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. The Pinky and the Brain. Yes, Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. The laboratory mice, the genes have been sliced. The Pinky, the Pinky and the Brain. Brain, 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 brain. Now we're going to get into the four lobes of the brain. At the front of our head, we find the frontal lobe. This lobe of the brain is responsible for high levels of cognitive functioning or executive functioning. It is also responsible for our reasoning or motor skills and expressive language. Towards the back of the frontal lobe lies the motor cortex. The motor cortex is a receptor of information coming from throughout the body. No, Jocko. Away! <laughs> Not my first choice. Next is the parietal lobe. The parietal lobe is located at the middle of the brain and is associated with our sensory functions such as pressure, pain, and touch. This is the somatosensory center for the brain and is responsible for processing the body senses. Ah, Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Brain, but this time you had a tutu. Follow me, I have a plan. The third lobe of the brain is the temporal lobe, another that is easily found simply by the way it is named. The temporal lobe sits below the frontal lobe near your temples. The temporal lobes are associated with processing sounds and the language we hear. A very important portion of our brains, known as the hippocampus, is also located in the temporal lobe. The hippocampus is heavily associated with the formation of memories. You look so sad! I will sing you my happy song! Who are you? I have come to see the guru and sing my beautiful song. Go away, the guru isn't seeing anybody. Oh, then I will sing my sad song. The last lobe we look at is the occipital lobe. The occipital lobe is located in the back of our brain and it sits right above the brain stem. This lobe is responsible for our visual perceptions of the world around us. The occipital lobe receives information taken in through our retinas and our eyes and interprets the information we see. No, Pinky. The fact is, she likes you. But Brain, I've already got a girlfriend! Pinky, you are a mouse. This is a horse. Oh, don't start that again, Brain. <laughs> These are the different roles of the left and right hemispheres of the brain. This is the left brain hemisphere functions. It's very detail-oriented. It looks at parts. It's very logical, sequential, and rational. It notes its math and science. It could also comprehend. Analytical objective uses its logic all the time. Facts rule, words and language. It presents its present and past. Knowing, acknowledging, also knows objects' names. It is reality based and forms strategies. It also orders patterns and perceptions. It's very practical and planned, safe, and it's always very cautious. These are the right side hemisphere functions. This side focuses on the big picture. Actually, it looks at the whole picture. It is random, intuitive, and holistic. It emphasizes on philosophy and spiritualism. It can't get the meaning. It synthesizes subjective, uses feeling, imagination, roles. It is based on symbols and images, the present and the future, beliefs and appreciation. It knows object function. It is fantasy based, presents possibilities, and has a spatial perception. It is impetuous, spontaneous, and adventurous. It is carefree and risk taking. Each side of the brain controls the muscles, while the other one hustles. Information from the brain side right crosses over to the left brain side. One hemisphere is damaged. The other one is also affected like a cabbage. Check this out, check this out. The corpus colossum allows the two hemispheres to communicate with each other by transmitting messages back and forth between the right and left hemispheres.
Here is an optical illusion brain test. Are you a right brain thinker or are you a left brain thinker? To check it out, which way is this woman twirling? Now, if she's turning clockwise, well then, you're a right brain thinker. But if she's turning counterclockwise, then you're a left brain thinker. Right brain thinkers are random, intuitive, holistic, synthesizing, subjective, and they look at the whole picture. On the other hand, left brain thinkers are logical, sequential, rational, analytical, objective, and they look at the parts of things. And then there are some people who can see her twirl in either direction. But the big question is, what kind of thinker are you? And now, the part of the brain, performed by <laughs> the brain. Yes. Neocortex frontal lobe. Brainstem! Brainstem! Hippocampus neural node, right hemisphere. Pons and cortex visual. Brainstem! Brainstem! Sylvian Fisher pineal, left hemisphere. Cerebellum left, cerebellum right. Synapse hypothalamus, striatum and right. On fibers matter gray. Brainstem! Brainstem! Central tegmental pathway, temporal lobe. White core matter for brain skull. Brainstem! Brainstem! Central fissure cord spinal, parietal. Piameter, meningeal vein, medulla oblongata and lobe limbic. Microelectrodes. <gasps> the brain! That ought to keep the little squirts happy. Yeah!